Hello, you're welcome to Heidi G. Sit Lily, and this is where we talk about things that keeps our spirit, soul, and body very healthy. So today I'm going to be showing you how to wash your celery. Yes, how to wash your celery because sometimes some people just don't um, do the celery washing very well. They try, but there is a little trick to it because if you don't do that, you're going to have some sand inside. And you don't want all those sand to come into your juice. So I have the stock of celery here. Yes, beautiful celery. I have the stock here, beautiful celery that I have here. You can see them. So what I'm gonna do first, this place is clean, so never mind. I'm going to cut off this front here, just to make sure I remove the tip. I'll take the tip off. Yes, I'll take it off. And just put it somewhere there and I'm going to cut here the bottom I'm going to take this part away so I'll do this and just cut it. so when I do that I like to cut it in the middle so that I'll be able to use my hands to wash thoroughly inside every one of them then leaving the sticks very long so I cut it into two Make sure you have a sharp knife but be careful with your hands and i'm going to put it in the cold water so i put it here make sure you have every one of them taken out bit by bit and when you do that you bring your vinegar water that you're going to use they have white vinegar they have this one that is like cranberry so but it's red wine vinegar that I'm using so we're going to use the red wine vinegar if you have the white vinegar it's also nice so you can use a cup measure it but because I've been doing it for a while I can picture the measurement with my eyes so make sure that you do like a cup or half a cup depending I'm gonna wash two stops so I'm gonna use that so that's like a cup of the vinegar that I'm using so this is the second stop so I'm gonna cut off the front again just to make sure you don't have the teeth there so I kind of take it out and put it by the side and go down to where this stem or is that what I call it okay the bottom <laughs> And you just cut this and cut it out then now you cut it into two be careful with your hands the knife is so so sharp so I'm gonna take the chopboard uh, chop, chop chopboard I'll take it away and I'll soak it in for maybe a second a few minutes but just try to make sure everything is going in you know everything goes inside the water if not add a little more water cold water don't use warm or hot water for you this one so um, now soak them in then I know it's gonna be a little kind of oh Lily and this will take a little time yes it will because you want to make sure that the sand that are hidden are not inside so use your hand to make sure you rub in between in between the celery stick so make sure there's no sand there you take it and you put it down there make sure you just it doesn't really take time you know maybe a little bit of patience is nice so let's wash it and just try to get it fast so because I do it all the time when you do it all the time you get used to it and you'll be able to do it fast you know it doesn't matter where you buy it from try to wash in between to get that sound out is very very important now let's keep washing and the nutritional benefits I hope you've seen them I put them up there on the screen so that you can see the nutritional benefit of um, celery they're very nutritious they're very good for the body has a wonderful salt that is natural for the body so don't fret because some people say oh I don't eat salt how am I gonna have celery inside my body it's salty no the salt that it has is the one that is actually good for your body so make sure that you incorporate this and celery can be eaten in different ways you can actually juice it you can eat it like this as a snack with peanut butter maybe I'll make a video about that that will be showing us how to do that 
you can also slice some of the sticks very tiny and put it in your sandwich or salad you can do it in so many different ways you can also put it in your soup use it to make soup they're really nice for soup so by the time you're done with all this um washing in between them you're going to rinse it so not just this one time make sure that you rinse it out so you're going to see what i'm going to do um after this washing every bit of these sticks every bit put your water there now rinse the bowl rinse the bowl because some of the sand are already like in the bottom so i'll rinse the bowl just to make sure that there is nothing inside and I'm going to rub water and bring it back in to rinse it. I'll rinse it. Now I'm going to let the water run for some time. Uh, there is something here that I don't like. So watch out for the skin also because there are sometimes some of the things that are not very clean that are there. So that you can kind of scrape it out, you know, very nicely. So you don't lose all your celery. Okay, so we're going to let the water run. Uh, while the water is running, I'll clean this. My good strainer, 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 yeah. I'll clean this and then get it ready. Put it here. Let's just put it there. Yeah, so now that you have washed in, you know, in between inside of the celery, you can actually take them like two or three sticks, rinsing them out because they're clean, they clean, they clean. Yeah, I put them here ready to be juiced. I like my celery juice um, because if I use them, sometimes I use them for snacks too, you know, so, but I, I like to juice them a lot, so. Okay, so now let's see our celery. It's ready. Take a look. Take a look at this. Ready to be juiced. See how beautiful they are all arranged and nicely done, clean and ready. If you want to use it for your soup or you want to use it to juice. So after washing this, you can actually put them in a Ziploc bag or if you have, you know, depends on what you have at home to preserve it, to save it. If you're not juicing it immediately, but if you're juicing immediately, it's ready for you to juice so thank you so much for watching this video on how to clean your celery uh till we see you next time don't forget to please subscribe if you haven't done that yet and also set your notification bell so whenever we upload the video you'll be the first person to be notified thank you so much for coming till we see you next time much love